then in any programming language or any code that you will write, you will experience errors, right? You cannot be write error-free code. Even the best programmers get errors in their program. The art is to troubleshoot those errors and get your program back to a working order, okay? So for us, we will experience, whenever we write code, we will experience two kinds of errors, syntax errors or logic errors. Syntax errors are basically the types of errors where the program or the compiler is expecting something and you write it in a different way. Example is the compiler expects you to write the word print in all lowercase, but you forget that and you start print with an uppercase P. That is a syntax error. That the syntax is the way you write something, right? So your spellings, your capitalization, your punctuations, your ordering of statement, you write something before something, your parentheses are not matched, you forget quotes and so on. So all these are syntax errors. That the way you write code is not how the compiler expects it. So that is a syntax error. The way you write code is not what the Python compiler is expecting, okay? Examples are given on this slide. So read this. Then there are other types of errors are logic errors. Now logic errors are the way that you intended your program to be. It's not behaving that way. Right? So there is some kind of uh, a problem in the logic of how the program is being running. In your head, you wanted the program to do something. It's doing something related, but it's not working the same way, right? It does run, but it produces unintended results. And it may crash, meaning that it may not work as it's being intended, right? In syntax error, the program may not even run and most likely will not run. In logic errors, your program will run but it will not produce the same type of output that you desired. For instance, you misspelled output. You wanted to print, uh, print hello world, but you forgot the L, right? So it's giving a different message. You divide it in your program by zero. What happens when you divide by zero? The result is infinity, right? For a computer, infinity means Keep on doing that thing. So when you divide something by zero, your program crashes usually. Okay. The basic viruses do these kinds of things. You forget to output something. Okay. You forget to remove some line and so on. So your program will div uh, run because dividing by zero, no, uh, the no syntax uh, prohibits you from doing that. But if you do that, your program can crash. Can you print this? Yes, it's 110% fine. But is this the message that you wanted to convey? No. So there is a logic error here, right? You forgot to output something. You forgot to remove a line. Your program will be run, but your output may not be as expected. So for us beginning programmers, one thing we need to learn is the syntax, right? How are things supposed to work? Because we don't know Python, we are learning it from scratch. So that is the syntax problem. Then whatever labs that I give you, whatever project that you are going to do, you have to design your algorithm, right? In that algorithm, you may have logic errors that you need to remove in order for your program to work as intended, okay? And when you write code, like when you get these uh, errors in the Genie Editor, in the output, it will tell you that, uh, it will give you major hints that on this line is the error, or on this line, I uh, got the error. So you can go to that line and the lines before that and see where that error is happening, okay? And remember, I all say lines before that. Why? 
because python any programming language is top down the top line is executed then next then the next so you, the compiler may say this line but the error may be coming from two lines before that so always go to that line if that line is written as expected see the previous lines okay 